Hey, Mikey with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Ranger by B3 Cornhole. And the short of this is this is a better version of the Viper, right? I, I, if you're a fast bag thrower and you love the Viper, you're actually going to love this bag. We'll start with the design here. And one thing about designs, and I, the reason I always talk about designs, is I love when a bag has a design that when it's across the room, you know, on another board or wherever it is, you can just see the design without being able to read the bag and know exactly what it is. That's what I like. And, and this is this is really that, that exact situation, right? I love it. It's a very simple design, but I love the layout. I love the design, even the name here. Like you see this across the room, you're gonna immediately identify this as a Ranger from B3 Cornhole. Now the yellow here comes in different colorways. They've got quite a few different colorways to change that up. B3 also does custom designs. They do some awesome custom artwork. So if you have a design or if you have an idea that you want when you order these bags they give you a custom option and you can design the bag however you want material wise uh, again this is like i said this is a viper it doesn't have the dots the, the dots that the viper has which is a good thing because i hate those speed dots on there kind of more of a gimmick than anything else but it has the same materials right this slow side is that viper slow side it's basically the, it's the same as the the widow fast side the viking fast side the pro advantage fast side it's it's to me it's a seven speed material it's super soft it's fast but controllable, it's whole friendly, it's a great material, a lot of bags use it and for a good reason. I uh, absolutely love this material. The fast side here is the Viper fast side. Uh, it's it's a nine speed material, crazy fast but controllable, can slide up any board conditions. It's great for pushing through bags, multiple bags. It's gonna push through and collect with ease. Um, it, it's just an awesome bag as far as speed wise for fast bag players. You've got two great materials, a seven and a nine. Speed range is, is what I'm giving it. Um, I think B3 calls it a six and an eight plus. We're right in this, that kind of that range, six to seven slow, eight plus. I call it a nine. So that's what we're looking at there. Um, one thing different and unique about this bag is on the inside of this slow side material, it's what they it's what they call a performance liner. It's a little bit. Um, it's a material that, that, that's, that's got less friction, less resistance to it, which is going to encourage this fill, these, these beads to keep moving, keep flowing, which is going to lead to more whole friendliness of the bag. If you take this material and pinch it and, and rub it together, you can feel how easy this, the material is to, to move. There's very little resistance. There's very little friction there. You take, you take a Viper here, which has got that same material, and I grab it and I go to spin. Man, the material just grabs. It does not want to move. I'm trying to rub it, and it's very difficult. You're feeling that friction. And that's the friction that that, that, that resin inside is, is fighting against as it's trying to, to flow into the hole, right? So in theory, if you remove remove that friction, remove that resistance, the, the, the resin is going to flow much freer and it's going to lead to more bags dripping or melting into the hole. I had a lot of success, and you'll see in these videos of bags just wanted just to kind of, when they were when they were on the hole hanging there, they were pretty much going in. Sometimes they're, most a lot of times they went without me even throwing my next bag, but if they didn't, they weren't very hard to get in there. Um, how much of that is tied to the performance liner? How much of that is just the bag itself? I don't know, but it can't hurt, right? We'll, we'll go with that theory. Um, the template wise, this is a good medium sized template, right? This is that, that six inch by six inch square. Uh, it's right down the middle. It's, it's a great size. I'm starting to like, I used to originally like a larger floppier bag, but the more and more I'm playing, I'm liking this more of this middle style, medium sweet spot style bag. It's, it's a great bag for blind draws if you're playing somebody likes fast bags because it's, it's, if you like that larger floppier bag, you can handle this. You like that smaller fuller bag, you can handle this, right? Uh, Fill inside, it's it's mostly that disc fill, but there is, I think there is a little bit of a mix in there occasionally, but it's it's mostly that disc fill. So if you like the disc fill hand feel, you're gonna love this. In fact, this bag feels phenomenal. It's not a really full bag fill wise, but that performance liner takes up a little more space. So it gives the bag the hand feel of a fuller bag. So you feel like you've got more bag here. It's really soft. It's one of the best feeling bags that, I, that I've held. The, the bag it reminds me of as far as in the hand is the X-Level Shadow. That had an amazing hand feel and this is the same way, right? I love the way this bag feels in the hand. So overall, the design, the materials, the feel, everything, I absolutely love. It's a great bag. Playability, no exception there. Like this is a bag that just, it's designed to go in the hole. This is a bag. You're you're not really playing a dirty stall game with this. This is a bag. You're running bags in the hole. You're outscoring your opponent, and it does a phenomenal job of this. Um, and you can watch here in this video if you pay really close attention to to my throws. I, I I'm not during this day. I wasn't super consistent when I was throwing this bag, but this bag is so forgiving that it, it has a larger landing area on the board 
to, to, to still put the bag in the hole, right? If, if I'm laying it short, uh, shorter than where I want to, it's still got enough speed, enough momentum, it's gonna go up, it's gonna drop in the hole. If, even if I go a little deeper, as long as I'm throwing slow, so I go a little deeper, I, it's still gonna go in and grab the hole. Slick side, you go deeper, is a good chance it's gonna fly over, it's just that fast, but there's no reason to go slick side unless I'm pushing through a bag. So I've got that 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 depth, right? A little, little bit of leeway there, but also even the left to right. If you're watching my bags, I, I was, I was again, I was inconsistent on it, and I was landing a little bit left, a little bit right. I just wasn't on my game for some reason. Yet this bag was consistently grabbing that hole, spinning around, dropping in. It, whichever side I was on, it was so forgiving um, that I absolutely loved it. That, that Even though I was having kind of an off day throwing, you couldn't tell by the number of bags I was putting in the hole. It looked like I was just dialed in when I really wasn't dialed in that well. And it's such a forgiving bag. I mean, now, the, the, the downside here on this bag like this is if you really do miss... If you miss the hole, it's probably off the back of the board or it's going to stop deep enough on the board that you're not collecting it. And that's kind of the trade-off you get with a faster bag, right? A slower bag is going to stop a little shorter. And even if it's not collectible for you, it could, it's a good chance it's going to be a nuisance or in the way kind of for your opponent to at least cause them to change a little bit of throw. If it's if it's in your side, it, then it becomes a collectible bag that you can collect your next throw. A bag like this, when you get a faster bag, you're not really running across that very often, right? This bag is usually either in the hole or off deep or off the back. That's kind of what you get. Now, it, there were a few times I think I did throw a block or stop a bag a little short. That wasn't really intentional as much as that was just by accident. Um, but all in all, it, it's it's a bag designed to, to just run bags in the hole. Um, the one area where I think this bag really shined for me that not all bags of this speed do is, is the get around shot, right? Your opponent, let's say your opponent throws a blocker up there for you and they've got a bag sitting there. With a bag like this, typically you have a, you have a couple options, right? You're going to push through it and just follow it and go in, or you're gonna airmail over it, right? This is not a bag that you're really flopping or rolling that much. Although this bag is full enough, again, roll back thrower, you can flop or roll anything, you can definitely just, but for most people, we're not rolling or flopping this bag, right? So you've got a couple options, but the other option this bag gives you, and I, I, had, to, I had to stage this for my throws because when I'm throwing by myself, I don't really have that, but I, I, I recognize this when I was throwing it through some tournaments or some league play, how well this bag is that getting around. So when there's a blocker sitting there, you step out and you can throw it and just barely just 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 bump into this bag. This bag will spin around and just drop right in the hole, which is phenomenal because if you can leave your your opponent's blocker there and keep putting your bags in, now it makes them do a little bit extra work to try to collect that bag. And if they miss and they're giving up points, then what happens is they have to think twice about throwing that blocker next time, right? If you, every time they throw a blocker, you're penalizing them for it or you're making them do the extra work, they're going to start thinking about maybe not throwing that blocker the next time. And when you're throwing a bag like this, the last thing you want is bags in your way. You want that board wide open because you're just going to slide this in every single time and you're going to make them have to find ways to, to manufacture points without throwing that blocker, right? The other thing this is great at is bully bags. If there's a bag sitting there like that and you're gonna throw in, just bump right into it, push it out of the way, take yours in, and now this bag becomes out of play and now you've really penalized your opponent from throwing that blocker because now they put that blocker from the hole, you've knocked it out of the way of the hole and now they've gotta work to collect it or they gotta sacrifice that bag and give up two points, right? So this bag is phenomenal for that, to get around, the bully, the the it's great for sliding in it's very forgiving it's an awesome for airmail bags like there's nothing this bag really doesn't do well absolutely love this bag if you throw fast bags of any sort you've got to get yourself a set of rangers you're going to love them and that leads you to availability um for those of you who don't have facebook be happy b3 has a website right b3cornhole.com you can go on the website you don't need facebook to buy these bags go on there you can order them through their website uh, these bags run, I think it's like 70 bucks without the ACL O stamp. If you want them stamped, it's an extra 10 bucks. You're looking at 80 bucks with the stamp. Super reasonable at the cheaper end. I mean, you're getting, it, it's one of the best deals in cornhole, right? You're getting a phenomenal bag. You're getting, you know, ultra charges. Well, I don't know what, 130, 140, 150 for the Viper. You're getting this for 70 bucks or 80 if you want the stamp. And it's a better version of this bag right here, right? I, I can't recommend this enough to you guys. If you like fast bags, get yourself a set of Rangers. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I absolutely love throwing this bag and you will too. Thank you guys so much for the support and thank you for watching.